you are, as a performer, no further than 12 meters from the furthest seat up there. And you know, a lot of the time, we're just basically within spitting distance of the performer. You can smell me. <laughs> decided on the thrust stage because it is a space that has no walls. You know, you're not framed within the picture frame of the um, proscenium theatre. In the proscenium theatre, we're all facing away from each other. We're all just facing the stage. But in this thrust stage, I think an audience is keenly aware of itself, of every single person in the room. bring all the different communities together. And um, that's what we hope our theatre will do, that it will bring people from all walks of life, of all ages, together to share in an experience. All these uh, corrugated spaces and this wood, which is actually very uneven, uh, these are all surfaces which are acoustically engineered. This room is totally engineered for the human voice, so we do not need amplification. We need very little voice enhancement so that if you hear like, hey, and you can actually whisper in this space and you'll be heard all the way up there. This wood that you see here uh, is repurposed from uh, Wayang stages. Our performers have been performing on this wood for close to 80 years in temples, in community centres, in public parks. It really gives this space soul. These seats have been custom designed for our theatre. They are specifically angled and positioned so that every single seat has a perfect view of the theatre. And I just can imagine, can't wait for an audience to come in here because, you know, you can imagine the whole audience sitting. And you can see every face in this room. You can, it's um, very, very electrifying, very communal, very intimate, very human space.